Now, the part that we have here is a, a solid model. Now, what are the types of parts that can be programmed in three axes? Now, we could work with solid geometries, uh, which could be made up of, um, you know, a bunch of surfaces stitched together would be a poly surface. In this particular example, you're seeing that this is a poly surface where you know, multiple surfaces are joined together, which forms a closed, it could be a closed poly surface or it could be even an open poly surface. You could you know, program three axis toolpaths for geometries that are both closed or open poly surface. And we could also generate three axis toolpaths for just surface geometry. So if I go ahead and explode this, it basically explodes a poly surface into multiple individual surfaces. So we could generate toolpaths for you know, surface geometries. Now this could be, you could also be importing geometry, surface geometries in the form of IGES files into uh, your CAD system, which could be Rhino or Visual CAD CAM and generate toolpaths. So uh, to generate three axis toolpath, you either need a solid model, a surface model. We could also work with um, mesh geometries. A mesh geometry would be uh, like an STL or an OBJ file that could have come from a scanner or could be come from a, you know, a different sources. You could have generated a, um, a mesh geometry. So I'm going to bring in an example of a mesh geometry here. Uh, this is an STL file. As you can see, it's made up of triangulated data. So uh, it could be OBJ. So basically, uh, meshes are made up of a bunch of triangles and you, see, you can see all the vertices in here. Uh, if I go ahead and display the uh, mesh edge wires, you'll see each of those uh, triangles, uh, you know, the meshes. So we could generate three axis program toolpaths for solids, surfaces, meshes. Now, um, Sometimes users ask us, oh, I have a 3D wireframe geometry and can I generate toolpath for that? So a wireframe basically represents a bunch of curves that could be in three dimension, 3D curves. Uh, to generate toolpaths in three axis, you will not be able to use a wireframe geometry. You need to have a solid or a surface geometry. So if you go into the three axis methods and select any of the methods in here, it's going to notify you saying no active part. So an active part requires you to have a solid, a surface, or a mesh geometry. Now, uh, solid geometries, surface geometries, we talked about. Now, what are the different types of solid surface geometries we can work with? So we could, uh, you know, for programming three-axis toolpath, uh, this particular geometry that you see here has free form or sculpted surfaces. So you will need to move in all three axes to program toolpaths. Since you have a sculpted surface, now we can also program three axis toolpaths for geometries that are prismatic. Now prismatic is something we looked at in one of our earliest webinars where we did some two axis toolpaths. You can also program three axis toolpath on prismatic parts where these are just straight extrusions where there's no free form sculpt or sculpted bottoms, no drafts, uh, you know, those are prismatic parts. So you could program three axis toolpaths on solid surface geometries uh, that could be prismatic. It could be free form. We could also be programming three axis toolpaths on mesh geometries as well. So uh, pretty much you can even have a combination of mesh and solid surface geometries to program three axis toolpaths. So uh, our CAM products gives you a wide range of abilities to program three axis toolpaths on solids, surfaces, and mesh geometries.